Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a ultra rare Friday night edition of the Jiminy Flip It live sh live chat show. I'm your host, Marty, going by Jiminy Flip It. I have the honor of having back in the fold Mr. Travis Griffin from Bio Digital Jazz. We're going to bring him right in. Hey, Travis. Hey, Marty. Hey, Marty. Hey. How you doing? Hey. Hope Great. you're feeling better. Great. Hope everything's going well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> It's going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. 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 Moving on. Yeah. Keep, on. Keep hoping. Keep hoping, right? You just say hello oh, to him. Hey, hey, Audie, Mike. Win a crow on time. Yeah, you're actually early, Win a crow. Thanks for coming in. Did you pay her? Hey, yeah, Audie, Mike. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep, I hear you fine. Does everybody hear everybody well? How you doing, Tracy? It's not Monday, I know. It's a cruel trick. We're doing a, a Friday night edition just for this week because uh, Travis couldn't make it earlier than the week, so we rescheduled for tonight, and then we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming, hopefully on Monday. Yeah, we're not trying we're to turn Friday, Friday into, into Friday. the new Monday, Monday, that's for sure. Yeah, Friday, Friday is the new Monday. <laughs> well, I can see that it looks like Artie Mike got an early request in, Travis. Hmm. I don't know if you're up for firing up uh, Worth Point yet, but... We had an early. I'm recording. logged in. Artie Mike asks, up. we deliver. That's right. Ham's beer pitcher born in the land of sky blue waters. We're getting right to business tonight, guys. Ham's beer pitcher. All right. Well, let me let me do some stuff here in the background. All righty. Yeah. All right. On behalf and of I'll, 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 I'll stare you. and you can, you can uh, move it over whenever. Just a sec here. Yeah, no problem. Oh, no. You had your heart set on some Chinese food, huh? <laughs> the cards are. Did you pay yourself, Winnicro? You got to pay yourself first. Well, cranky, tonight. don't come to our show all cranky. Uh, she tried to get some Chinese food, and we're having a an issue with payment apparently. Uh, eBay sales have been slow, but I know she's got a store, so hopefully yeah. she's making money there. Yeah, I hope you are. How was your day, Winnicrow? Did you uh, work in the shop today? We were on the other night, and she was saying she had just come back. She has a shop in Jersey, and uh, she was very, very busy. It was a St. Patrick's Day party kind of thing. And she had a great day over at the shop. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. Hey, what was the full? Can I get the full title of that beer picture again? Yes, sir. sorry about that. I just wanted to say hi to everybody. Yeah, the real. I know how that goes, Tracy. All right, let's go back to Audie Mike's request. Here we go. Sky. All right. All right. Well, let's see if we can figure this out. Yeah. Is hams, uh, I mean, I'm just trying to put together the sentence like as far as research. Are you going to literally type that in, hams, beer, pitcher? Yeah, is, go is ahead it, and uh, share it, um, and then we can kind of fine-tune it as needed if he doesn't see it here. There's not a ton of them, so hopefully this shows the one he's looking for. Okay. <laughs> you napped today. Good. That sounds like a great call some Chinese food right now. I could actually go for some. Friday night. You could just let me know, Travis, if you want. Do you want me to pull the screen up as you're searching or you want to wait till you find Oh, something? no, yeah. The, I, it's fine for them to kind of see the behind the scenes oh, of yeah, yeah. Exactly. it. So go ahead. Very good. Hams. And Artie Mike, if you happen to see it, go ahead. I'm, I'm trying to just show it here because once we put the, the, the slogan in, there's not a lot of options. And I, I didn't see one that just rang out to me. Oh, okay. Keto margaritas, yeah. I wouldn't mention keto around uh, Travis right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four-letter word, isn't it? It works mostly. Yeah. 
there can be some side effects though. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Artie, Mike, are you seeing this? Is it? A, is it a? It's not the milk glass one, is it? Paul's on it too. Travis looks like he says Paul he probably has it in his freaking backyard. What's he say? <laughs> yeah, do you have one, Paul? It's probably hanging in your basement. Oh, are you saying you passed it? Okay, so it's here. Is it the one where the beer is just sitting in the midair like a ghost and it's pouring into a waterfall? Because that's sweet. 36 bucks. You know what? Let me I'm gonna make it full screen. Maybe it'll be easier for everybody to, to check out. There we go. Instead of looking at our mugs. This guy? Is that it, Audie Mike? That's 3651, but that's like 10 years old, 10 years old. What's he saying? Did, did he say which one it was? Uh, he just said thirty-six. He said you passed it. It looks like, and he said thirty-six dollars. And I think that's the one you're on, right? The one you had up there. Yeah. This um, guy. Okay. okay. It looks like it. Yep, that's it. Okay. Well, that's a comp from over ten years ago. So. Yep. And there didn't seem to be, didn't seem to be one before that of that type. Let's see if we can um, figure out another way. Another keyword that might make it. This says it's got a lion type creature with a sword in it. That's this great description. That is. All right. So there wasn't another one, huh? Well, yeah. This, what's this guy? That's different. Yeah, that's different. Uh, the color, right? The writing is different, it looks like. But, I mean, it's the same size, it's the same material, it's the same brand, and it's just as rare. Why couldn't you ask for a price that's more in line with that? I agree. You know, $69.99 or $79.99, $69.99, $64.99. Starting mm -hmm. price? I feel like that'd be a great asking price. Very cool. It's probably, it's probably 15 to 20 bucks shipping just because you, you know, you typically would double box something like that. But yeah, oh, def yeah, most definitely glassware. Yeah. And nine inches. So that'll fit in a nice 13 by. Nope. Yeah, that's a big, that's a big inner box to begin with, unfortunately. Yeah, it is. But I think, be I think $64.99 is a good starter. It's pretty thick glass, isn't it? It looks thick. Yeah, it looks industrial grade. I mean, it's it's yeah, got to exactly. be. It's in a bar pouring beer around drunk people. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's cool, Paul. Did you happen to acquire any of those from Grandpa? Just curious. That, are they the ones that like that light up and stuff? That would be very cool. The people are the ones that light up around it while they're drinking. Oh, that's right. Motion waterfall yeah. sign. Wow. Yeah. We saw some of those in there, Paul. Those, those are cool. I, I like those old beer... 70s, early 80s uh, motion waterfall stuff that light up. Those are cool. You'll see yeah. those like at auctions every once in a while. And if you try them out and they work, it might be a pain in the butt to deal with the shipping. But, man, you can yeah. you can find a buyer on that stuff. Without question. I've seen those in antique malls, too, sometimes. They'll have those kind of things and with the big, along with, like, the yeah. metal signs. And stuff They're like probably that. always overpriced there. Yeah. Oh, please. Absolutely. Yeah, very heavy. I figured that. Oh, no. Sorry to hear that, Paul. Did they have dibs on it first, or was there some sort of agreement? <laughs> He's low in the, the oh, chain. Crazy. Damn. Cheers. Absolutely. She loves beer Guinness stuff. Out beer yesterday beer. To celebrate. I'm a big fan of the Guinness. Got some yesterday. All right. All right. Any, other, any other requests? Yeah, if anybody had any requests, let us know. We have Travis on for a bit, that's for sure. It's not going to be a super long show tonight, just to let everybody know, because um, 
I have another commitment coming up a little about 6 30 my time eastern so but we'll be on for at least an hour hour and a half so get your requests in everybody hope you had a good week it's been uh, up and down for me like i guess i could say that pretty much universally it's always up and down but this week was especially up and down i had like a really strong start to the week and the last couple of days have been pretty quiet for me personally on ebay oh not anymore travis <laughs> That's like my biggest sale of the week. It's twenty three dollars. Hey, we'll take it. Uh, it's been this week's been brutal. Um, and that's I just got an offer. For, <laughs> that's pretty funny. It just popped up. Hey, Winter Crow. Uh, thanks for asking. Feeling a little better. Feeling a little better. We're gonna we're gonna wait it out rather than go to more extreme, expensive methods uh, like the original plan was. So we'll see. Thank goodness for that. But next week, if you see like a kidney or a liver up on eBay, hey, um, you know, I need the money. So Condition used, you know, used, original owner used, smoke free home. Damn. Tracy yeah. just got a <laughs> she just got her sale too. That's awesome! I swear you got yours. I got two offers just now, and Tracy just got a sale. It's not an accident. And that's how we do it. We do it. That's how we do it. How we Luck do it. of the Irish. The Irish. Luck of the Irish. Was it a good one, Tracy? A good sale? I was talking with Winna Crow. Um, we, we had the show a couple of nights ago where I was listing some of those ads. And she I was very happy because she said it's kind of resurrected her enthusiasm for eBay, getting into the print ad stuff. She has some magazines that she was kind of like just letting sit there. So I'm really happy to hear that. If anybody else is uh, inspired by that, I'm, I'm grateful. I hope it works for everybody. It's a great. I'm inspired. Inspired. Yeah, I was sad to see the end of the series. Um, I watched well, I watched it yesterday, and it was really, really useful. Yeah, oh, I appreciate it. I was hesitant to say this is the final one too, because you never know. There might be some other like um, associated videos. It might not be full length like that, but I might do like I'm going to do. I had a couple requests to do a the dreaded. To me, it's dreaded the what's sold video. I know everybody does them, but I might as well. Maybe I'll do a what's sold with the ads, you know, so people can see like what we listed and how. Yeah, save it up. Yeah, save it up for you know once a month or whatever, and just show it off or something. That'd be kind of cool. Exactly. Uh, my what sold video would be like about thirty five seconds long. It would qualify for like a short this week. <laughs> so I'm gonna skip that. That's great. That's if unique. I could. Yeah. yeah. Classic uh, country time. Eighteen CDs. Oh, that is awesome, Audie Mike. Those time life things. They're they're really hit and miss, but uh. Already Mike yeah. found one that was a hit. Nice. 18 discs. My God, that, that's a hearty collection, though. You know, that's very cool. God. And it's media mail, which is the best. Yes. Thank God for that, because that's a lot of discs. It's probably pretty heavy. Hey, he here's a, a – I, I got some breaking – I don't breaking think it's breaking better. news, but okay. do, you, do you have, like, a breaking news sound effect or anything? Not yet, but I'll make one. <laughs> okay. Want. Well, breaking news – Okay. Not breaking news. I don't know if you guys saw your seller hub today with the eBay announcements or whatever. Um, this is also um, e-commerce bites. Uh, the one that uh, Dom and Don always reference. It's a newsletter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it was also out there before that, but it's finally happening April 3rd. So if you're like me and you sell long poster tubes because you sell a butt ton of movie posters, well, you're pretty much screwed now because uh, the post office is implementing a surcharge, a double surcharge in certain situations. So let me break it down for you. This is, this yeah, is yeah, real I appreciate good. It. Um, if you sell a mailing tube, this could even, even be um, the post office's large, super large uh, triangle type thing. This would yeah. qualify. Um, if you are over 30 inches, and my movie poster, industrial tubes are 32 inches long. So I'm two inches over this. So okay. I will pay a $15 surcharge on top of the shipping because it's over 30 inches. Oh, wow. Now, if it's between 22 and 40 inches, which every movie poster that's a standard movie poster size would be, um, that's a $4 service charge. 
So if you're not, if you weren't an idiot and bought extra tubing because you really wanted to pack the ends because you're like, I'm really going to treat these posters and my customers right. I'm going to make it bigger. I'll eat the extra shipping. Um, but I made a mistake. So a year later, that's $15 for, for those two inches. And it's an extra $4 for between 22 and 30. So that's $19 surcharge for that. On top of a poster item, which is sometimes up for me, eleven dollars to ship. That's thirty dollars to ship, maybe a fifteen dollar poster. Um, that's ridiculous. So that's just. A few, I know Tracy has some posters, and I don't know if anybody else does. But if you got long items, baseball bats, you know, uh, either throw those babies on sale right now because that goes live April third. All right. So um, we have a couple of weeks, three weeks. So I started wow. a sale today and on my poster store, and I just said, buy two, get two free. I'm just going to try to blow them out because I really, really no one. Who the hell would pay $30 to no, have a poster ship? Right. So, Oh, my goodness. There That's you good. go. That's that the that breaking mean, news. Sat, sat that, is breaking. that showed up on your seller hub? Yeah, it's on the seller hub. It's the top. It's you want to pull it up? There today. Can we look at it? Yeah. Is that all right? I mean, make sure you don't have any yeah. personal stuff about so, yeah, I don't think know. I have any personal yeah. stuff there. Let's see. Oops. Nine doubled CDs. Yeah, Audiomike. That's that's a great sale, though. Yeah, so yes. are you seeing it now? You want me to pull it up? Yeah, go ahead. You sure? You don't want to just pull up the banner or whatever? Or the, the... There we go. I see what you have up there. You know what I mean? Do you see that? Yeah. Do you want to want to pull that up? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I agree, with Winnicrow, by the way. Stop hyping things up and show me what actually sold. That's a good bit of advice. So, wow. So that's it. That's all the, uh, the, the gory details. I mean, I knew that there was something going into, I didn't know the detail though. Like this is, this is a, uh, Pretty dramatic. They someone they had mentioned it, it um, about six months ago, and they were negotiating, trying to find a way. Because I mean, imagine if you made a living um, selling movie posters online. That was just your business, and there are entities like that. Absolutely, um, this would destroy you. Or like or so, like size things, right? It's not just exclusively for movie posters. It's anything. Yeah, like this that. is like, not just for tubes. This is anything that's over. Audie Mike said baseball bats. Movies. That's a good one. Yeah, golf baseball club. bats. Golf yeah, clubs. Exactly. Tennis golf clubs. Long. 30 inches isn't, you know, huge if you think about it. So. so yeah, you're right. That's a good, a good bit of advice. Get them out there now. Get them on sale and get yeah. Rid if of you them. got that stuff, uh, it's probably worth just blowing them out unless you were willing to figure out a way to absorb that cost. But I'll tell you what, I'm I'm be done with stuff like that. I'm not going to deal with that. And and yeah. you can't get around it. UPS and FedEx already had um, those kind of surcharges built in. So um, yeah, yeah. No so the post it. office is just catching up, and that's yeah, yeah. Wow, that's. Uh, Pressing. Thanks for that. Thanks a lot, Travis. And I'm not really sure the reasoning. Like one um, one theory was that their machinery is either antiquated, which is probably true, yeah. um, and it's they just don't want to deal with the the two the extra long weird stuff that probably gums up their works. So if they're gonna give you that service, they're gonna charge you for it. That's my best guess. I think it's a very intelligent guess. It's a shame, though. You're right. It could put a, a whole brand of people out of business, you know, people that specialize in posters and stuff. I know there's a lot of them. Thankfully, I don't have any of those. We do. We actually have an old Epcot, uh, still sealed Epcot poster from a uh, festival years ago, and it's in a Disney tube, but I don't think it's 30 inches. It's kind of small. But um, other than that, the movie posters I have are those one sheets or whatever where you fold them. Yeah. All yeah. movie posters uh, are 27 by 41 for the most part. So that 27, if it was right up against the scenes, still hits the $4 surcharge. So yeah. I guess the thing, the alternative would be um, just go ahead and mark up all your posters. My $20 poster build it into your pricing. A $50 poster. Correct. Yep. Build it into your pricing, um, man. It's and the people that don't update them, 
they're going to get burned. They're going to realize real quick that, oh, that sucked. You know, they're going to lose money on everything. It'll wipe out all the, the bottom price stuff and your stuff will still be there. It'll just be a hell of a lot more than it used to be. So that would be the other alternative. Yeah. Let's see, Paul, I don't know where I got it, but I have a rectangular box. It's a great question, Paul. I know what kind of box you're talking about. And I don't know that I've seen an, actual, an exact answer on that. But the thing that I pulled up from post office today does not specifically mention that these surcharges are just for um, for mailing tubes. So I I would almost I would almost uh, wager that yeah that thirty one inch is going to hit the. Uh, the four, really. essentially 19 it's going to get the four and the 15 dollar surcharges on it wow that's major e, um now the the alternative here uh ebay did mention and i in everybody trusts ebay's uh, calculations to be totally accurate the moment this goes live but they oh, yeah. said that they would if you do calculated mail on those things it'll do it'll take care of all that for you for you the problem is if it's a surcharge, you may not find out about it until the carrier delivers it in some cases yeah. and like, oh, hey, yeah, this was an extra $15, but yeah. that's two weeks ago or whatever. And then you get hit with that $15 thing. So Right. And what if you sold a bunch of them? That could really add up quickly and you didn't know about it. And they all kind of hit into the month or something. That would be awful. Yeah. Just, yeah, Sell at your own risk. Just, yeah. You got you got a week or you got a couple weeks to do whatever you're going to do with them. How long are the priority long boxes, Tracy? I'm just curious. I had the shoe boxes, but there's no way that they were only no. Right. The shoe boxes are fine. Boxes. Just small, right? Yeah. yeah. But the priority long boxes, those triangular ones that you got to put them yeah. together. Uh, there are two versions of that. Let me. I'll look that up. Oh. Wanted off to get dinner. All right. You get the Chinese, so she's yeah. not all cranky and the like. I hope so. I don't know how one wanders off to get Chinese, though. She probably had to go like. <laughs> one does not simply shoes. wander off to get Chinese, yeah, you, Marty. Oh, uh, you don't wander off. <laughs> and to come back that quickly, I'm thinking microwave. You know what I mean? Something quick and easy. Um, maybe she ordered. Maybe she did. And that's funny. Tracy's asking, "What'd you order, Winter Crow?" We all want to know. <laughs> I just want to find how yeah, long the, those triangles are. You said there were two of them? Yeah, there's two, two different, different sizes. sizes. Cool. They're a pain in the butt to work with, but I, if they somehow were um, not included in this because it was the post office's own stuff, that'd be fantastic because then I could throw my tube inside that thing. Yeah, very true. All right. So the small tube, the length is 26, 26 inches. So unless those are exempt, which they said they did not say they were, the smaller tube, and I'll show you what those look like. Let me share the screen. Share the screen. Just in case yes. you yes. are familiar. familiar. Hello, Mrs. Flippett. How are you this evening? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the small one. And you can mm -hmm. see that's 26 inches. Right. So let's find the bigger one. And here's the bigger one. And it's super long. Look at that. It's 39 inches long. Wow. My God. They're going to get a and that's the one on you that. use for your baseball bats and all that kind of exactly. stuff. So exactly. If, if the post office said, it came out and said, these will be. These will be exempt from our stupid surcharges. Then get these, <laughs> get as many of these as you can, because they're going to go like gangbusters. But uh, no indication on their website about that. 
anyway, there you go. Wow. Interesting. When a crow is saying now on the blurb, I read it. I read it said the tubes with eBay labels. Does the eBay label make it obvious? Tubes with eBay. I've never seen the like. I've never seen the like. No. Maybe that's something new from the, you mean like the, the free supplies we get? Is that what she's talking about? The eBay branded? <laughs> Thank you, Winter Crow. I don't know, but you know, figure, out, so figure it out so I don't lose all my money. All my money. Yeah, definitely. Ordered. Okay, what'd you order? We didn't go Chinese, I guess, huh? We'll check we'll check we'll check a Parmesan. You get some Chinese. I'd love some Chinese. I think Mrs. Flippant might fire up, might order up some Chinese. You've inspired us. Oh. Oh, why would the post office be cracking post down, post down on people post using post eBay, labels. eBay labels? Yeah, I don't get that either. You mean the ones that are like the eBay that are like standard, standard international, international, like those? Like those? Wait, we're, we're getting the hold on. We're getting the order in. All right, we got the sweet and sour shrimp. Oh, oh, shrimp and pork and garlic sauce. Interesting. Nine dumplings. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go get these. Oh, thank God. The last sentence says, when I order, I get enough to cover a few days. I was like, wow, you must be a hungry woman. <laughs> that was a lot of food. Girl's got to eat. Girl's got to eat. Yeah, let's share that. My goodness. Oh, the post office. This, this The post office. Are they cracking down resellers? I don't believe no. so. No. Travis says, no. <laughs> hand right hand right wow is there any reason hey, you choose not hey, to Mark, use are you getting my echo yeah. again, my my chance? Chance? My chance? i am not does everybody if anybody has any here's any echo please let me know we had a little bit of an issue pre-show but we thought we caught it I'm just curious. What? Why do you uh, choose to write them out by hand? <laughs> no, no, no. We're just curious. Everybody has a different approach. You figure you don't get the uh, you don't get protection from eBay with that, right? If you don't use the labels, you don't get a tracking number. Well, you have to manually you have to manually add your tracking add numbers your tracking in once you process them. Process them. Right, right. That's right. Yeah, you just kind of copy and paste right into the order itself. Maybe she likes that. Maybe she likes that handwritten, handwritten kind of kind of personal touch. Personal personalized, touch. yeah, personalized. If I hand wrote I my address, out, my address it would go to, to like, other like other planets because they would not know, would not know where this thing's supposed to go. Thing's supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not good, Tracy. Got to keep it. Travis is echoing bad. We will we will try to address that. Yeah, Mrs. Flippet just concurred with uh, Winna Crow there. Personal touch. All right, let me see if we can um, address the sound issue, folks. We will require your. I, I, I switched to my. I switched to my well, no, it's, it's, no, it's not me. It's not I me. changed microphones I changed. and it's the same. Okay. You actually sound a lot better, though, clearer on my end. Can you let us know, everybody, any difference in either one of our sounds? Are we both echoing still? I don't think you've ever been echoing. Oh, I don't I don't hear my echo anymore. I think you fixed it, whatever you did. All right. Thank you. Mrs. Flippett just confirmed that we sound good, too. There's a delay, but it's not echoing. All right. Very good. No echoes. Thanks, guys. Great. Appreciate it. What did you flip, Marty? That's the one to keep. I changed. Um, there's actually a okay. there's an Change option in StreamYard that says echo cancellation. I toggled it on and off again, and it went away. I've seen quite a few other YouTubers struggle with that once in a while, where just for no reason at all, you'll just suddenly hear echo, and then it vanishes. But all right, great. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you handwrite. Thank you, cause. That's very nice. 
Let me ask you, Tracy, when you write, when you handwrite a thank you card, do you ask for feedback without whether or not you actually ask for feedback, but do you imply that you would like to get feedback when you write those? Because I've ordered things before where I'll get a little handwritten note like that. It'll say, you know, please, you know, let me know how your experience was or something. And I think that's a pretty good idea. I throw them in the trash. Do you? How dare they? <laughs> I admire them for a second. I'm like, oh, I wish I had. I wish I did that. And then I forget it. And you're like, no, I don't. But that's a reseller perspective. Um, I wish I had somebody writing them for me. If I could pay like someone to do them. I'm sure you could. I'm sure but the problem is there. I got two teenagers. They've probably never taken a handwriting class in their whole life. Yeah, well, that's a whole other story. It's probably worse than mine. So I don't know who I'd get to do it. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know, Winnicrow. No wonder you get such great feedback all the time. I remember you were saying that you always get good feedback. You used to ask for feedback, feedback, excuse me. Then I stopped. Just to have an amazing day. <laughs> yeah, Winter Crow's right. Yeah, uh, what Tracy's saying there, I think you just talked about in one the of last, your the last one video. Of your things, right? Yeah. Yeah. I did. Everybody's different. Everybody's going to perceive it differently. But it's still sort of implied. But uh, but you know what I mean. She's she's taking the time to say thank you for your purchase. Basically, have an amazing day. Whatever she wants to say. And you would hope that that would trigger somebody to potentially go ahead and take that extra step. I know it's a pain in the neck, and people are inclined to be lazy about things. Think about Amazon. You know, we buy tons of stuff on Amazon. Theoretically, you could leave feedback on Amazon. We never do. Like we never do. Never do. Yeah. I don't even I think about do. it. Look at Winnicrow with the gross generalization. Implying that men can yeah. spreading spreading hate. Spreading hate spreading hate on here. With her Chinese food. <laughs> Even though she's <laughs> right, that has nothing to do with it. How dare you actually state the obvious one across? <laughs> she's Victorian. She's Victorian. Yeah, she is. She's a Victorian. Is that a new kind of astrological symbol? <laughs> Aquarius, Capricorn, and Victoria. I want to be Yeah, Victorian. no, I'm sure it does make an impression. You know, a handwritten note. I used to, uh, right when the coupons came out on eBay, I would print, I would print them up, which I thought was just stupid. Yeah. Because like, this is a digital platform. What am I, but I print them up and I throw them in there. No one ever, no one ever I, used it. I've had no success with those coupons. I tried it too for a little bit. Has anybody had a success with the coupons? I, they're basically useless to me, to me they are. And you're right. There should be, it should be a digital thing, obviously. There, and there, um, so I was playing around as I was struggling trying to figure out how I'm gonna offload all these posters. Yeah. Um, by the way, I'm taking offers. Um, the uh, the newsletter I know eBay's touted this newsletter here for the last few months, like, hey, we've really updated your ability to do these newsletters. So I'm like, okay, can I target this newsletter to a specific group of buyers? And you kind of can, it's mm -hmm. really sent out to everybody. But you can define the category, the store category that you want it to target. Oh, and okay. You can, you can put a code. You build a code or use an existing code, and you put it right in that, um, into that newsletter. Okay. That's so, I, but I was a little worried because I'm like, do I already put these things on sale? Now, if I do this newsletter, is it going to cancel it out? Is it going to be? Buy zero, get four free. I, I wasn't sure. So I'm going to let this thing ride for the weekend, and then I might give that a shot. That's really sweet, Tracy. You're right. It's uh, You're right. It does. It just I like Paul. I like Paul's answer, too. I love Paul's answer. We're going to get to it. There's a bunch coming in. I just want to make sure everybody gets a, a moment. Um, Look at all. I agree, Winnicrow. People has also messaged me and say, they save all your thank you notes. Oh. Now, do you, per I'm, I'm, this is going to be a stupid question. Do you have sort of a can, both of you, do you just have like a canned letter that you write out or do you kind of, oh, them? every, yeah, no, yeah, me, I'm I do. yeah, no, uh, for Winter Crow and for, um, Tracy, do you guys like, like, is everyone personalized? Like, thank you for buying my XXX and you know, all that you put the names on it or do you just kind of have like a canned thing that you write out to most of your buyers. Paul lets it speak for itself. I like that. 
Absolutely. I have sometimes when I sell something fun, because I love my wife, she actually sells old I vintage G.I. Joe. My GI, yeah. I've not sold <laughs> my, I wife. Love my wife. <laughs> I love my wife. And wouldn't sell her. Um, but uh she sells these old vintage G.I. Joe parts for vehicles. Oh, yeah. And so when anyone ever buys one, I'm the one that does the shipping and I will it usually gets double boxed, like a little small box. Mm -hmm. And I always write like yo Joe on the box. I just you know, or on the bag. Um or if it's base if I sell if I sell something baseball related or memorabilia related, I'll definitely write like a little message, uh, just because it's something I get excited about. But I have to print it like in caveman drawing. Yeah, yeah. Or else they'll never get the they'll never get the joke or the, the thank you on it. Definitely. Audi, your note. Oh, so this is what you received? Or is that what you're sending to people? A little confused. Is that something you send out to people or is that something you received? I think this is like his, his letter. He's going to put in, in letter, the newsletter. You're going to put Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's brilliant. Pre yeah. Preemptive strike here, right? Let people know. Yeah. So buy it now. Basically that's a great idea. It really is. Make me an offer. There we go. I'm sorry. Right, part two, make me an offer. Yep. Beautiful. Really, really smart on you, Mike. Artie, Mike, please report back uh, next week. I want, to, yeah. I want to see how that goes, but I like yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. Great way to offload stuff on all my baseball bats. There you go. Perfect. Do you, you have, have a lot, lot of that stuff, Artie, Mike? Yeah, I was just going to ask. Do you have a lot? 20%. Yeah. I'd like to know Winter Crows, like, uh, repeat. I know eBay's still working on how to tell a repeat customer. Yeah, the tweaking, but it says. The tweaking. I wonder if she has, you know, that kind of touch. I bet there's certain return customers who love that about her. So I, I bet oh. that's huge. Yeah. I love that. Me too. You have a 20% coupon. A coupon or a sale? I like the sale. How about sales, Travis? Do you have luck with running sales? Do you run sales in your store at all? I have. Uh, never. No, big, no big uptick. Not really. Not yeah. really. I have definitely avoid. I have, I have been lazy with sales and, and marketing for the past probably not six months. But I didn't need it. I mean, I, everything. Yeah, was yeah, right, right. Great, it was, um, um, until this these last couple of weeks, and now yeah. I'm just like, what the hell? I, and I think it's just, you know, you might see somebody sell four hundred twenty five dollars worth of comic books, and that's that's for awesome. So there's people buying things. Yeah. Um, but there's not many things I have that people need. Not that people need comic books. I just think it's just economic <laughs> uncertainty. I think it's That's just sure. Do you have wiggle room? Do you have wiggle room in your pricing though to allow for a sale? Oh, something? huge. Okay, yeah. Cool. I fine. got I got huge wiggle room in almost everything. So nice. I do send out a lot of offers. I, I have taken offers this month that I never would have taken before, just because I'm trying to stimulate my economy. You know? No, I definitely so, understand. Tracy does personalize everyone. Okay, that's cool. Artie, Mike, do you uh, do you hit some fastballs with every one of those bats? Make sure they work. <laughs> Fun facts, nice. Oh, that's really really cool. That is cool. Want to grow? Do you uh, provide like the what is it? The provenance? Pro <laughs> yeah, provenance isn't that the word? Like, yeah, the origin or whatever. This came from X, passed on yeah. to Y. I got it. When if I loved him in the right? alley, whatever. I tell them to look for positive feedback. And if they are pleased, we hope we'll do the same. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, the, these subtle ways of asking, basically. But yeah, Tracy likes that too. Brilliant, Winokro. Brilliant. Definitely uh, a really nice touch. Yeah, he just did that by adding a note to every baseball bat. Do you have a lot of baseball bats for sale? Here we go. Eight. Okay. Eight. That's enough. Eight times yeah. how much in fees? Well, this is the moment they need to sell, right? For a lot of reasons. This is when people buy. It's also, right, buy. exactly. See, perfect time of year. Yeah, that's good. That's also uh, preemptive to avoid a, the, a negative. Contact me first, absolutely. Coupon. Oh, because I had asked sale a coupon. Okay, you're running. Yeah, let us know how that goes, Tracy, because... 
I only tried it a couple of times when they first came out and I had zero, like not one response, not one taker at all. I didn't Here's do it. I, I, I just got a new business idea for winter crow. Uh oh. I feel like when we buy stuff and it sits in our death pile, because we don't want to deal with trying to figure out what the hell it is. We, uh, we outsource the history. We, we send that to winter crow. She figures it out. She does the listing sends it back to us so it's in our inventory and we pay her a commission. I'm sure she has like plenty it. of time. <laughs> All right, uh, I, she's time not doing anything. She's eating Chinese food. That's she's true. Today time. she's off. Certain return customers always like to tell me how actively haunted things are. Ooh. Look at this, an Oscar Wilde quote too. Just be yourself, everyone else is taken. That's kind of cool. She's a Victorian, you know. Yeah, I heard. I print an extra shipping label. I print with a Shopee. Tracy, thank you for all your order, Mike. Cool. Do you put that, you that put it in the box or you slap it on the box as well? The extra shipping label is for the post office to find if the original falls off. Oh, okay. Oh. I huh. have those self the self adhesive. Do you use the self adhesive labels? Yeah, I got the Rolo. Yeah. The thermal. But I'll tell you, every once in a while, especially if I know it's going cross country for me or something, I'll reinforce it with some clear tape. Just really? Sure. Yeah, I do once in a while. Just, I mean, I know it sounds silly. Like I, my biggest fear, believe it or not, is the package is getting wet, like the ink getting wet or something, and the barcode not being legible. So, like, but then, I, you know, how many things do we make? I don't think the thermal printer can. Get, I mean, I don't think it would smear. Just it given the material. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Shit, I don't. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm not a thermal. <laughs> I'm not a thermal engineer no, or whatever not required. Not I don't. Yet. Yeah, that's next week. Speaking of which, here's Paul. Your real <laughs> job is busy, okay? <laughs> yeah, not laughing. All planned that way. Yeah. My guess, I'm thinking accountant. I'm just going to take a stab. It's tax season and he's busy this time of year. Let's see. Let's see if that adds up. He could be. I make sure the he aluminum. Could be. No, yeah, you don't want to dent in your, in your aluminum. He could bag. work for the IRS. He could be on the other side of that business. He could be. He could be my, he could be cracking down on us as we speak. Yeah. Thankfully, no one's watching this, right? This is no, no these no. are bots that we hired to, to join this. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I'm not even live. This is just a you're not even real. No. So that's right. It's all recording. <laughs> the habit of being a history freak, I usually know more about stuff than the people. Yeah, that's cool. Because if you took the time to buy it, you must have researched pretty heavily, right? Tracy wants to know if anybody has business cards that they use. Personally, we don't send on any business cards. And if you do, do you send them to all of your uh, buyers, Tracy? Do you throw that in there too? You get a whole bunch of goodies, huh? Thank you notes, business cards, piece of candy. Paul's a camera operator. For oh, like cool. Basketball tournaments and stuff. Basketball. Oh, okay. March Madness. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, you know what? I'd even be fine with the the Hawaiian one where they what's that? It's not the final four. It's the what's well, the well, the teams that don't get in, but yeah, they go no, to Hawaii uh, and play, which is awesome. What is that called? The other tournament, which used to be the premier tournament, and then it flipped when the NCAA tour. Heck, is that called? Oh, really? Yeah, Before that used to be time. the. Yeah, no, that used to be like the tournament to get. I can't remember what it's called though. I'm sure my uh, audio mic will get involved here. Time out for track. Yeah, I know. What's up with that? It's been a long week. <laughs> um, Tracy had a good idea there. And, and I do something similar sometimes. When I sell something, either GSP or G, yeah, GSP or like international sale, um, I have this huge lot of postcards that I bought once mm -hmm. because I thought, oh, my God, there's so many millions of dollars in, right. in this box of postcards. Right. Of Look at these. These are from the 70s. They're freaking ancient. <laughs> um Look, here's another one of a bridge. Oh, here's 75 more of this bridge. Yeah. Um, so now, um, I if it's I, I have American postcards, I will throw that in a box that's headed international, just to give them, you know, just a little taste. Yeah, sure. Um, as and then write thank you on it. Yeah. So. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of a cool little thing. Absolutely, it is. Let me catch up with some of this chat, Travis. We got like a cop camera operator. Very cool. 
Travis apologizing for aforementioned naughty word. He puts the extra shipping label in the box. One more time, I print the labels on my HP LaserJet. Okay. First year reselling, I bought all vintage cards. Oh, that's cool. And you use them. Creative. With horse feathers. Yeah, that's the name of her uh, shop. What? You want to throw? If you want to throw a link in there, when a crow be, be my guest. You could put a link to your Facebook page. Let people check it out. Nit Nit tournament. Thank you, Audrey. Nit. The Nit it used to be the premier tournament until the NCAA took it, the final four thing took it over. You have an Nit. Oh, very cool. In Hawaii. Or is that just where the finals are, Travis? That's the final for the NAT is in Hawaii? I thought it all took place in Hawaii. Oh, really? See, look at that. Yeah, Winter Crow making her own business cards. I like it. From worthless, you know, kind of worthless vintage postcards. Really cool. Oh, okay, you write it right on the back of the business card. Very good. Two for one. Cool. Hi, antiques from Karen Janet. <laughs> you're a very lucky girl to have gotten here. Let me tell you. Glad you're welcome aboard. Yeah. And, and Janet, the way things work here, when someone new joins this, we send them money. That's we right. We send them a, what is it, the the silly stamp or whatever they're called, where you get money. <laughs> We don't know. We haven't really done it yet, but in theory, Janet, <laughs> in theory. if you don't, it's really not. It's just a technical. It's a technical thing. That's yeah. right. Well, welcome aboard. I'm glad you're here. Here we go. Oh, he's in Cincinnati. You're going right, to make so. another business cards. That's funny. Now, Paul, are you, uh, are you sourcing um, in between games? Since you're traveling all over the country, yeah, Artie Mike's cool. taking off. He, Art, yeah, Artie Mike, you got other things to do. You got to go run those promotions on those baseball bats. Yeah, that's right. Great idea, though, Artie Mike. I really appreciate that for all the watchers. That's a great idea. If you have any of those larger items, I like that. Kind of tell everybody in advance. They still have a couple of weeks. Everything must go, go, go. Take care, Artie Mike, and thanks again for showing up. I appreciate it. Um, Paul is saying he thought the finals were in New York. We have like four different conversations going. I'm trying to, <laughs> we're yeah. going from, we got between the cards, two of us. It sounds four. like it's 10 different conversations. It, it does. It does. Just trying to keep up to date with everybody. PCC, the Christopher Columbus statue that was recently torn down. Oh, Hey, winter crow. Did you grab any parts of that? The Columbus statue? You could flip it. On it out. Yeah. Columbus is yeah, where'd those go? Maybe you could buy those up. Probably melt them down for scrap metal or something. Stupid. Yeah. They gotta have some That's kind of all other conversation. We won't partake in, I don't think, right now. Look at this. More offers coming in, everybody. I got a couple of three offers could just came in. Tracy, yeah. any more luck with the uh, cha-ching noises while you've been on? We were on fire a few minutes ago. Jenna has yeah. a new channel where she is cleaning out and selling things from her mom's house. Ooh, very good. Yes, That's something I've you seen... should be doing, Tracy. Not cleaning out necessarily, but <laughs> showing everybody what's in mom's house. That that's I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. We oh, yeah. Mom, Mama Ventures. Mama Ventures. I said Mama, Mama Ventures won't let her sell any of the stuff. So what's it matter? That's true. But at least we could get it. I'd love to just see it. I'd like to see some of that stuff. I'd love to see her try to sell something when Mama Ventures has got her back turned, then Mama oh. Ventures turns around, sees it go down. Please. And it's then Tracy and goes down. Mama Ventures has it all right up here. She knows if you move a grain of sand in her home, she'll know. Yeah, but Janet does have a cool channel where, Very cool. I mean, yeah, she, uh, I learned about her on primetime. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I've, I've, I've well. watched some of her auctions and stuff. There are always some cool old stuff there that I would love to get. It's just, it, it's like, where in my death pile do I put that? You know, it's like, I can only put certain things in this part of the death pile. I can't put, there's not just not, I just can't put anything in the death pile. No, exactly. Very cool. Yeah. Everybody go check that out. I will definitely check it out too. Thank you for that. Janet. 
I want to make sure I have this right. Antiques from Karen Janet. Is it Janet? Is it Karen? <laughs> is it is it Karen Janet? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the name to to address you properly. Voice. I think it's Janet. I think it's Janet too. Going by Antiques from Karen. Maybe Karen's yeah, mom. Yeah, because I think Karen is mom. Karen's mom. Gotcha. I think. No, we don't mess with mama's stuff. Nobody mess with mama's stuff. Tracy Nobody. and Mama Ventures were on a couple of weeks ago on our show. We had a great time. And Mama Ventures is an amazing lady. She was showing us a couple of her goodies in her home. And we had suggested that uh, Tracy go around with a flashlight and search through every nook and cranny of Mama's house and show everybody. She had some beautiful artwork and kind of one of a kind things. A collection of, uh, what was it, the political pins? That was really cool. Uh, the, Karen, uh, where's your mom? The life size JFK pin. Yeah, the life size. <laughs> Not to scale. All right. Thank you, Janet. I just wanted to make sure, like I said, I was addressing you properly. Got it. So it's antiques from Karen by way of Janet. Her name is Janet. Got it. <laughs> Never going to forget. Now, Travis, you, you've teased death piles about three times. I've noticed in the last uh, half hour. Is there any reason for that? That you've been talking about death piles? Yeah, I could take you on a quick little journey, a little Friday afternoon jaunt for a couple minutes and show you. I could think of nothing else I'd rather do right yeah, now. Everybody wants to see it, right? You want to um, see a live death pile, folks? She showed all her Bible studies. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. Uh-oh. Did Man, I hope I didn't cuss in that one. I don't no, want to get, no. get fire rained upon. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Brimstone. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I will drop and I'll rejoin on my cell phone and I'll take okay. you into a couple death pile lands, uh, maybe to close out Friday afternoon. Yeah. Awesome, man. All right. Okay. Be back in a second. I'll see you when you come back in. Yep. Yeah. Live death pile. That's kind of cool, right? Wanna crow? You're going to check out um, Tracy and her mom. That was a good show. What, when was that, Tracy? About two weeks ago, I guess. So a week and a half ago. Just catching up with everybody's. Janice says her channel is a live death pile. That's very funny. That's a good idea, though. It's unique. Like I said, we had suggested this to Tracy a couple of weeks ago. Maybe she'll follow suit. Yeah, check it out, Winnicrow. It was a, it was a lot of fun. Uh, Tracy's mom is is a, adorable, and she has a lot of stuff. She's been collecting forever, you know, and she's she's not one to want to give any of it up. Not a hoarder by any show. She just collects beautiful things, and she displays artwork all over her home. It was really nice. Check it out. Maybe I'll put a link while we're waiting on Travis. In fact, I will put a link. Just bear with me one second, folks. And we will put up a link to that show. You guys can check it out after this one. i put it in a comment for everybody. Did I, not? I thought I said Tracy was great, didn't I? There we go. Check it out, everybody. After the show's done, it's a lot of fun. Tracy and her mom. I was honored to have Tracy on, and we were kind of joking before the show a little bit. I said, "Hey, you want to have your mom on?" I don't. I don't know if it occurred to her if we were just talking about it. She's like, "I'll ask." And sure enough, she. We were lucky enough that she did show up. It was really a good time. We were, and they were in her house, which was kind of cool. So go check that out. They'll never find your body. There you go. Travis is going to be logging back in with his phone so he could take us on a tour of the death pile. I know, Tracy, I know. But that really was a lot of fun. I hope you come back. I'd love to have you back. Because we kind of put Mama on the spot, didn't we? We're like, hey, show us some of your stuff. And she's like, uh, uh, uh. But she just happened to have a big bag of um, political pins. That was the thing that stood out, like old political pins. She had a, a JFK pin that was literally about the size of my head, which was really cool. And then she had a lot of local stuff. I know she won't get rid of any of that, Tracy, but I'll tell you, one day, if you want to, like, it, it, it couldn't hurt just to research some of that stuff and see what she has, you know? You can't use the link. It took me out of here. Oh, okay. No problem. You could just go to my channel, too, Winnicrow. Just go to my channel, and um, there's a, a section that says live shows in the playlist, and you'll find it. It was on uh, March 7th they were on. If you want to check the date. All right, looks like Travis is getting set up. All 
Uh, March 7th it was, when crow. That was the show, just a couple weeks ago. Yep. All right, Travis is back. Are you good, Travis? I think we're going to bring Travis back in. Travis, are you with us? Yeah, kind of. I couldn't right. figure out the phone thing, so I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna take the the laptop down. I got to be careful not to show. Yes. Mrs. Bio Digital Jazz. No, no problem. There is a delay, so if that happens, I could probably cut it out. Editor out. Yeah. We're gonna go full screen on Travis and his death pile to everybody. Enjoy. It's kind of like the Blair Witch Project, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, which way? Oh, this way. Yeah, she sunk down really well. I had to... Okay. Here's what we call Nim's Cave. Awesome, Tracy. Definitely. Oh, what is this? So I'm this sorry? Is, this is Nim's Cave. So this is Nim's all cave. unprocessed, unlisted. Well, it's been processed, but it's not listed. That's so, a lot of stuff. Got a lot of these kind of weird old magazine things. This pulp, like pulp magazine romance stuff from the 50s, I think. Wow. Yeah, yeah, 40s, yeah. maybe. Oh, man. Uh, my wife just got a huge bin of strawberry shortcake stuff and all the dolls and the like. Um some train stuff a lot of vintage christmas stuff a lot of bulbs all these christmas things really sell well um some old camera equipment and lionel a bunch train of hats set. lionel What's train that? set up there lionel train set up there yeah oh have you seen that one before i haven't seen that specific one but i know that there's a huge market for lionel train sets and it's it's uh, like the medium size, so it's I don't know the H scale or something like that. I think it's a hundred fifty dollar comp. Wow. Um, I got this on a table uh, of a bunch of other train stuff mm -hmm. uh, for a hundred dollars in Scottsdale when we were down there in December. So it was wow. a good deal. Uh, I, I got a bunch of. I was just yeah, going to say, I'm sorry. Winter Crow makes a great point. That's the neatest death pile I've ever seen in my life. It's it's a very organized. Um, well, thank you. It really Did is. Did you think it was going to be like a hill, like this mountain? Uh, yeah, like literally a on? pile. I think that's yeah. what we all thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're trying to get into artwork. So we have a ton. I don't know if you can see this. We have a ton of various pieces of art that we pick up mm -hmm. because we have intentions um, to get all this listed and have like a really fancy art store someday. Oh, you'll like this. you like this. You see that? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, that's cool. That's that's like the original. Yeah. We got this by accident, but it's the original side art for a Donkey Kong machine. You got it for, by accident. Oh, yeah? On the, on the arcade game? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Too bad it's over 30 inches. I was just going to say, that's the one bad, what we just spoke about. All that artwork is exactly. probably over 30 inches. Yeah, we'll just work that into the price. All these things, all these art pieces, a lot of what we sell is so arbitrary and perceived value that, you know, you're not really competing with anybody yeah. because they're unique items is what we like to do. Um, just pick this up today. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. If I could get it off. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. this is... You know, an yeah. 80s USA yeah. satin, satin John Deere tractor yeah. thing. Yeah. Probably list that for like 150 Oh, easily. Uh, so this is a small death pile, small death pile room. There's lots more in here. Vintage clocks always sell well. These are boxes full of uh, 50s, 60s, and 70s uh, army um, die cast and lead soldiers and stuff. Yeah. Wow. All right. Now we'll go down in the basement death pile. Well, just some quick uh, feedback from everybody is, you know, obviously yeah. list it. It's one of the most amazing piles of uh, stuff I've ever seen. That I, I, what? Why don't you list this stuff? Just not enough time in the day. 
I mean, yeah, amazing, not enough amazing time. stuff. Not enough time in the day. That's that's essentially it. Um, like here's a here's a <laughs> bunch of uh, board games. Yeah, that still need to get listed. Board games take forever because you got to verify all the pieces. Correct. Yep. Um, but if if you're missing, you could always part out things, right? You could put sell the board itself, sell cards. You sell, could. You, you could. know, people are always looking. This is what used to be our guest room. <laughs> um, now, everything that's not on this shelf right here is listed, thankfully. My wife sells books, so most of this stuff in here is, is her like fantasy and vintage. and. But this here. Oh, my God. This is a giant six-foot... Um, thing of video games and video game consoles only. That's that's all that's sitting here. Holy this is how I God. got into it was by oh, I think we froze up here a minute. It's cheap because I thought that would be easy. And it... Did I freeze? Yeah, you did. Just for just a moment. I think you're back now. Okay. Can you hear us? Oh, man. Hold on. Exactly, Janet. List it, list it, list it. I've, I've, this is not a death pile. This is a treasure trove. Very cool jacket. Let's see if, uh, he might just be in a dead zone, everybody. Sometimes that happens. Drat. <laughs> exactly. A lot of goodies there, Winnicrow. I agree. Lots of goodies. Paul, what are you digging? The toys and stuff? Very good idea, Janet. We're going to wait for uh, for Travis. He's going to try to reconnect. Have you guys ever seen? Uh, that's it's like going into a warehouse in his house. My goodness. It's the first time I've ever seen it, too. Oof. You know what? I wanted to ask one a crow question because she chimed in with, let me go back. What was the name of that magazine? Pulp? Were they magazines or are they like little, um, like he was saying, little romantic stories or something? I haven't heard of those before. If anybody else has, I'm curious to know. Oh, the repeater thing, Tracy? That's a good idea. Hi, Rachel Griffin. Yeah, I figured he was. No problem. I can see him. I think he's trying right now, so I'm going to bring him back up, everybody, okay? And when Crow, I agree. That's the neatest-looking death pile I've ever seen in my life. All right, let's uh, bring Travis back on. Sorry about that. I dropped no internet. Problem. No problem. <laughs> so I don't know what the last thing is, but um, I showed you. But, yeah, this is – these are all vintage – these are all video game consoles from, like, Nintendo – all the way down to, you know, some of the later stuff. Um, but, you know, that's it. Winter Crow, if anybody wants to come over and do a death party, a death pile a death party. party. <laughs> death pile I think Winter Crow would like a death party, to be honest with you, from what I heard. Yeah, <laughs> that's her thing. <laughs> that's her thing. Oh, and there you go. Here's There's those. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got to get those left. fire sale, right? Yeah, luckily I'm fifteen hundred dollars in the profit on these right now. Oh, okay. So you know, worst case scenario, they never sell, and they just stand here. But uh, you know, not a big deal. Oh, thank you for that, Paul. Pulp. Okay. All right. I think we're all making a trip out. Let me just tell yeah, you. Yeah, come something. on out. We can do some shopping. I'll tell you that. Oh God, I feel like a wheel of fortune kind of shopping. <laughs> Thing in, in other people's houses to get rid of their death piles. I think that's the way to do it. Yeah. Look at this. I, the, the, I love doing these shows for no other reason than I learned so much from all of you. I really, I mean, it's incredible. Pulp. Uh, did you see uh, when a crow had written just the word pulp when you were showing those little uh, like novels or whatever they were, those little magazines? And pulp. I'm like, oh, yeah. pulp. It's not the, I didn't know what it was. Did that's you know what they what look like. Yeah. That, that makes sense now because. That's what, yeah. Okay, cheap, now I get it. Cheap paper, yeah. I didn't know that. That's really cool. They, it is cheap paper. Thing. Thing. 
The things also, don't even match. That is the just pages cool. don't. Death swap. <laughs> Holy God Almighty. That was really, really cool. You have so much stuff. Death swap. Tracy, what was the game we came up with? We had an idea too. Uh, swapping death piles, right? We were going to... I guess that's the same thing. Death swap. That's right. That's what we had come death up with swap. weeks ago. Tracy and I came up with that idea where like, we'll visit your house, you visit our house, and we try to sell each other's death piles. Something tells me yeah. you're going to win. I like it. You can always feel the cheap paper, huh? Okay, let's go back to the... Thank you for the tour. I really appreciate it. Sure. Sure. That looked outrageously cool. What is uh Where's the... how much do you have up now? How much how many items do you have listed right now in your store? Just like roughly about 950. I mean you have thousands of things there, thousands of things you can get up. Yeah. <laughs> you could uh, conceptually. It, and, and that's not counting, you know, the Jiminy Flip It method of, you know, I've probably got a hundred. 60s and um well before magazine that now that i've seen the six part ad uh deal yeah uh, there's like money to be made in there so that's not even oh. counting that stuff i, I, I got other stuff in the garage too that's on shelving like that um so i guess there's even more uh, for another day that really was fun thank you so much i, I i'm almost speechless <laughs> there's so many things i want to say my goodness <laughs> have you thought about selling um you could do like almost wholesale lots from your house. Honest to God, would, get rid of some stuff, go on YouTube and just do, I, I've seen a lot of people do that, sell stuff to other resellers. I'd buy a lot that. of that. I would buy a I lot of that, that stuff, man. Anybody else that would be interested? I'd, I'd buy some stuff. You have a gigantic video game collection. You have a gigantic selection of, uh, even the posters, that's a hearty amount of posters you have in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I've got about 200 posters that, um, my, my goal when I got the 400 posters was it, it ha I have to list it for 1999 best off for 1499 to make, you know, five to $7 on it. Okay. Um, and anything that I didn't feel was going to, I could list for 1999. It's still sitting there. Sad I mean, I've, yeah. I've got 200 posters that are, that are not going to do anything. We're talking like sister act type stuff. Yeah. yeah there's still, yeah. there's still a buyer for it, but. You know, it's it's not nobody's knocking down Netflix trying to stream it. Right, right. No, that's definitely true. And now with the pending doomsday pricing, I mean, that's going to be even tougher to get rid of. Yeah, you, fire sale, man. If you're already, yeah. what did you say, like fifteen hundred in the in the red? Yeah, yeah, fifteen hundred in the profit, and that includes you know all the uh, those those poster tubes were not cheap because I got right. the heavy duty ones. Right. Um, but that's that's fine. I mean, it's it's all there, and we'll see. We'll see. That was amazing. I'm serious. I'm you glad you guys liked it, though. I'm glad. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody was going nuts. Like, this is... First of all, it was entertaining, yeah. but I I'm just staggered by how much you have. That's amazing stuff. <laughs> and good, good stuff. We For most too. people, death piles means, like, junk, you know, in most cases, right? Or just stuff. Like uh, you just said, like, if you don't think you're going to make a lot of money on it, ah, it'll just sit there. Mine literally becomes a pile. I mean, I have some organization, mm -hmm. but nothing like that. I, I think... My, I have some like weird psychological reaction to that stuff. I'm like, oh, this stuff's going to be worth a lot of money. I need to take extra care and time and research and comping it and listing mm. it and photoing it. And so I get overwhelmed with the magnitude of what I feel the sale is going to be that gotcha. I want to put that extra amount of effort to match the amount of money I'm going to get. And so it, I just like cancel myself out with like analysis paralysis and yeah, I exactly. don't get it listed. To me, that looked more like a, a very nice inventory of stuff that you already have. Like it was so neat and organized. It looks like something you already have listed that you'd be pulling stuff out from. I mean, I, yeah. I, my goodness, that's same here, I, Travis. It's really if sad. I could get my my youngest son who I started this whole, he, he's the reason we started. If I could get him to help me with the video game stuff and pay him to significantly yeah. help me get it out, I would totally do that. So You'd make a that's a conversation I'm hoping to have uh, after he turns 16 in a month. And maybe maybe he'll want more money. I, no, I don't I, know. Maybe I, he'll feel a, a better are. need for money. 
What's high, is six, Colorado, what's your uh, age for getting a permit for driving? 16, 17? Uh, yeah, uh, learner's permit, 15 and a half, and then driver's license, 16. There's the motivation. Get some get some right. uh, video games up. Save up for a car, right? Or That's right. Help daddy get your car. Whatever you got to do. Yeah, dad can't afford it. He's He's got too much invested in video games and death piles. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder, Carl, I, I think we're going to get a t-shirt. I want a t-shirt with that exact – look at that. I'm cranky. I'm old. I hurt. Food's not here, and I'm not listening. Oh. I, should a, I should be on a shirt. There's more money yeah. in that. That's a start. Winter Crow, quit your day job and just print those shirts and sell them on – That's all. On demand. Make a fortune. Weren't you listening the other night, Winter Crow, when we were on together, I think? And Tracy was listening too, the first show I did last week. We have an actual listing show where I think that's where everybody gets involved in lists together, but – you're welcome to list during this one too, but that's I, I I'm I'm really flawed, man. That was impressive, very impressive. Lot of stuff. I'd wear that. I'd buy that right now. It kind of hit a hit on every. It's basically yeah. like, I'm old. I hurt. I love that. Just nothing specific. I just I hurt. I just started keto. I would just add that <laughs> bit in there <laughs> for my personalized keto. shirt. That's right. eBay t eBay sales are in the tank. Everybody knows the way you got to list yourself out of these uh, doldrums sometimes. As uh, frustrating you know, and unmotivating as it can be, it's the only way. You got to list that yourself. And, out and then way. diversifying income, right? Yeah. Different revenue streams. Find ways to do it. Winter Crow's shirt idea. That's, I'm telling you, I keep trying to give people these ideas. Tracy's got to do the video series in her mom's house. We have to do the swap. Oh, food's here. Hold on, hold on. We could check off one of those gripes, one of those grievances. Let us know. Let us know if it's yummy. Keto flu is brutal. What is that? The ketosis? Like when you go into ketosis, is that what's described as a uh, keto flu? Oh, you just muted your mic. Hold on. Or did I mute your mic? Uh, Tracy, the, the keto flu, that was fine in comparison. This is um, hmm, certain nutrients that maybe don't get expressed as much on a keto diet. <laughs> you need to find ways to get those nutrients because that's yes. all I'm saying. That's yeah. All you need to, that's all you need to say. When a crow, this, I said, this is a shirt. What you wrote up here, you need to print that on a shirt. I, I mean, uh, I'm yeah. the first to buy it. Sell it in different colors, different fonts. You know what I mean? Maybe have the first half on the front of the shirt, back, back couple of lines on the back of the shirt. Yeah, Travis was uh he's had a rough week physically. I really appreciate you being on tonight. We were even up in the air with this. We pushed it out to Friday on purpose to try to give him some time to heal from Monday and still not hundred, <laughs> but I'll tell you, you look pretty uh nimble out there. You man yeah. the laptop, give, giving us a tour of the home. Agility is uh, increased. So yeah, I'm, very I'm good. hopeful. Thank yeah. God. I love it too. You gotta make a shirt, Winna Crow. I know you can I know you can make a shirt. Make a shirt. Make a shirt. Put it on the Facebook. There's something new for your uh, horse feathers Facebook site. Yep. 20 bucks a piece. Free shipping. Make sure they're they're shorter than 30 inches, though, Winter Crow. Yeah. <laughs> when you fold them. <laughs> yeah. Don't make uh, like horse size shirts. No. I'm going to put this up one more time because I think it's really, really funny. <laughs> I'm cranky. <laughs> you, Winter Pro, you better trademark or copyright that immediately before Jiminy Flippets here oh, has this on it. his background every week. Look at this. Here she goes. On the back, wish you were, in the, wish you were <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. We got a few more minutes. It's 615 here on the east coast of the United States of America. I could probably go to about 6 30. Um, if anybody has anything else, we'll open up. <laughs> Tracy. We open up uh if it's okay with you again. Travis uh open, worth, open point. worth point. If anybody has anything they want to look up. I wonder if that shirt's on worth point. I wonder yet. if that shirt I was gonna say you should type all that in. Imagine 25 results. <laughs> we all witnessed the creation. Yep. And I called it. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. It's all you. These ideas are flowing, though. We come up with some really cool ideas. We have video series ideas. We have TV show ideas. We were saying we should put that uh, death pile swap like on A&E or something. I guarantee you people would watch it. Death pile swap. 
Dun, dun. Well, they show the don't you and Tracy and Winter Crow, aren't you guys all kind of in the same area? We're in the same time zone, but Winter Crow is not too far from me at all. She's like within an hour. Tracy is up in upstate New York, which is a hike for me. It's like four or five hour ride. But it's for it's for entertainment, man. It's for it's for exactly it's for education, you know, purely educational. Maybe you bring a truckload or a car load, and you guys all meet at some crossroads on a so nice day. Idea. Tracy, we're, we're not getting two dates out. Where are you, Syrac? Uh, no, uh, Dom's in Syracuse, right? Yeah, I Dom's in Syracuse. In. Janet's in Rochester. Oh, okay. Oh, Janet. wow. See, there's a couple. More. So you guys all roll up. And you guys have your own little makeshift death pile. Like you shop from each other's cars. Death pile USA. You have a map, put the little pins in. Yeah. Right I'm in Colorado. So, uh, yeah, that's, I'll, that's, talk about I'll a hack. have to watch it on the internet. Does anybody know how to make shirts like silk screening or whatever that is? You know, I bet you would, you know, I bet you we could do, do them this. on the internet. You, you just come up with a design. And I bet then you, you upload that onto Zavi or whatever oh, one that, of those things order? are. Yeah. And it's how, just, do you, how do you print it though? Like how do you get it transferred to your shirt? They probably you, sell special paper. It's so think of um think of an entity like that where they have all the shirts, mm -hmm. they have all the equipment, you upload the logo, you upload the, the oh. ramifications, you have like a, a website that you design through them, and when someone buys it. It they go and make it for you and ship it out and they take their cut and all the things they take their they took they take their cut. You don't do anything. Hands off. Yeah. Oh, uh, Dom interviewed somebody maybe a year ago. Who um, does that? That does this through like Amazon. Um. So seriously, I mean, if you're no, looking for a way that's to diversify great income, that 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 could be a way if you have any kind of artistic quality. Yeah. Catskills. Oh, okay. Are you from there originally, Tracy, or did you move up there? I used to go to Bear Mountain when I was a kid, isn't it? <laughs> Our south of Albany. Okay. Print by order. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. Yeah. Yep. It's hysterical. I mean, I, I think that's really, really funny. You know, the listing part aside for, for people, just general public, everything else they can relate to. But then for us people... You could have the reseller the version. Reselling, yep. A friend in Rensela. You, you could change the uh, non-reselling version to all of that. Instead of listing, you say listing. <laughs> Lilting. <laughs> what not that a word if you list? You, you like list? Listing you through the... List to the side? Yeah. The Leaning Tower of Pisa would be a yeah, listing. Yeah, it's listing. Is that right? I don't know. I'm hoping somebody does. I'm going, I'm going Sometimes with I just try to talk and assume the confidence that I convey. You, you say it I'm with conviction talking. and people will believe anything. That's yeah, what I pretty much. Say. Everybody's like, oh, oh okay, sure. List, oh, listing, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure, I totally knew that. Sick. Because you don't want to feel stupid and not know what that means. You're like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's not, on the internet. No, not on the internet. Not live on TV. Stupid. Anybody that's on the internet, they're it's not brilliant. stupid. It's obviously brilliant. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Sarah... Silent all night comes in when I need her. There's Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Like, like the closer. Boat turn. Out of the bullpen. Sarah came in on Wednesday night, was it? And she was a ringer. She was providing great information. She was all pumped up about the uh, the print ads. Have you listed any yet, Sarah? Just curious. Bartomania. Is Sarah Bartermania? Oh, no, that's oh, another there we person. Go. <laughs> hey, Bartermania. Bartermania. I, was like, I thought that was like a catchphrase. Hey, Bartermania, welcome. Did Sarah just land? Uh-oh, what's going on? She knows how to fly. Oh, she knows how to fly. Bartermania, do you uh, do you always have that logo, or is that special for uh, St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. I think it's actually the logo, right? Because it looks like... Uh... Yeah, the, the, the logo is Barter itself. Mania, yeah. Yeah. But I mean Barter Mania might have one with like Arbor Day, like with a tree behind it. <laughs> with a tree. I don't know. I'm just that's why I'm asking. Like he, oh, you watch the he or she is always always capturing, you know, the pulse of yes. the holiday storm. Look at Sarah just waiting for the right moment to pounce. She she was yeah. waiting for her for her end. She got in there. Beautiful. Oh, oh good. Listed. She listed. She listed. Awesome. 
but not like a boat. No, not like a boat. How many did you list, Sarah? We're going to keep dibs on you. We should all report in with our dad. That, that's another idea. We should all do like a, a chat where we come in on a, on a not Friday. It's a nice a one-off. Mondays, everybody that comes on the show will provide a listing number for the weekend. Let's say how many did you Ooh. list over the weekend? It's a challenge. Is there prizes? There might be prizes involved. They're all coming out of your house. I mean, you got enough stuff to keep going. <laughs> I'm a free I want to buy a t-shirt. <laughs> look, look at the Winter Crow. Yeah. See? Winter Crow. She's already on board. She, she's, she, she's, she, she, she runs with it. Turning. Quick. She's quick. Oh, that's Who's awesome. This Who's this? Bartomania? Did that, Sarah? Irish roots. Very cool, about her. I am half Irish. Tracy has a little bit of Irish as well. I remember from uh, yesterday on Instagram. Any Irish in you there, uh, Travis? Uh, Scottish. Scottish, that's Welsh. right. That's right. Yeah. Scottish and Welsh. Cool. Nine today. Very good. Man. Very, very good. Yeah, let's do that. We'll, uh, for Monday show, all right? We'll all post our numbers. It's the honor system. You could say you did 100. You could say you did five. We can't prove either one, but <laughs> unless we go to your store, see so if we know we your could store, go to your store. But I'm not even going to do that. I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to. Yeah, and then if somebody you know says they sold something, we're going to go double check. That's right. Yeah, don't, don't be come fibbing. on here. Don't be fibbing on this spreading, channel. Spreading your internet filth. It's bad enough we got a, a potty mouth here with my guest, and <laughs> now we got to have fibbing. <laughs> not going to live that down, right? That was oh, a yeah. Scottish part. That was. <laughs> that, that wasn't my Welsh. Hat. I detected a. I detected an accent when you said it too. Shite. Yeah. <laughs> See, it was actually Gaelic. It it wasn't what you thought you heard. Ah. Best friend lives in Wales. Oh, that's very cool. Purple, Purple heart return. See, that is phenomenal. Bartomania. Hey, Bartomania, can you? Put a link. Put is a it link cool if he video. drops his his YouTube there? Put a link to your uh, video, Bartomania. We will definitely check it out. I know I'm going to check it out. I encourage everybody else to. All right, Tracy. Enjoy, Manj. Enjoy your food tonight. Say hi to Mama. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks for coming in again. Winter Crow, don't forget we're mobile. We are mobile. Just bring your phone wherever you go. Don't <laughs> pretend you got anything else to do. Eric, what's going on, man? So Tracy, Tracy gets leaves, me dinner. Eric shows up. That's kind of odd. That's kind of and when, when she said it was dinner time, too. Did Eric make yeah. the dinner? Hmm. It is the 21st century. I don't right? want to make fun of DID, but it was kind of a very convenient timing. And I agree. Hats off, man. That's a gentleman. That's a class move. I definitely want to see the video. So try to get that link up. Yeah. Was can. that an estate sale pickup or something? Yeah, exactly. I'm sure he goes into, I would think in the video, maybe you go into detail, right? Could have been at a crossroads uh, death pile swap. <laughs> I don't, I'm telling you, I don't know if I would, like if I had a video game that I found out belonged to somebody. Yeah. I and, no, I'm, just, it's not, I'm not going to compare that to a purple. Well, purple heart, hearts. So. I was going to say, uh, <laughs> talk about apples and oranges, man. Yeah. Those, those Scotsmen, you got to watch them. <laughs> well, we're all waiting for this. I think we're all waiting for this link from Bartomania before we close out. I have a couple of minutes yeah, left. That's, I, that's I really the... do want to see this. Seriously, man. Please post it. Same uh, as your channel name, Bartomania. Check that too. And I want to know where you're at, Bartomania. Yeah. Because if, if I ever lose anything, I know who to go to. <laughs> <laughs> It's good people right there. Gentleman and a scholar. I'm searching for Bartomania. Storage locker. Oh, okay. Oh, Eric, I hope you're filming your, your uh, unloading of the barn. That's what we do on this channel. We show our, we show our stuff. So Eric, I hope you are getting ready. To show your stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I you know, I was telling Tracy, she has a built-in uh, between her mom's house and your barn. I mean, that's hours and hours of entertainment for, for YouTube videos. You guys have like a built-in stage, you know, the 
uh, there's a couple of people out there I know that do like from the bond, quote unquote, they have channels and it's really interesting stuff. It's a great way to keep everything out of the house, maintain the yeah. integrity of a of a home and then have a whole shack. What's that? Yeah. What is What's that? that? Uh, yeah, I know. Guest room? <laughs> guest room. I laugh when you don't said need that guest room. room. We don't invite people over anymore. No, no, there's no guest. Guests. Nobody's coming over here. No. As soon as these kids oh, move right? out, I'm going to have two more rooms of storage. I will post a link for you, Bada Mania. If you could just let us know where this uh, video resides, like how, how old is it? I think Sarah said it was like recent. Okay. But we don't know, Sarah. I mean, Sarah said she listed nine ads. We don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to trust her. Yeah, check up on her. There you go. Everybody. Ooh, bro, great idea. Yeah. Yeah. As long as they'll list things. There you go. <laughs> you want a place to lay your head? Get rid of some stuff. <laughs> and you can, you can, <laughs> you, you want to lay on that couch? Space you want. List everything on that couch. Yep. <laughs> yeah, everybody go check out Bartomania's channel. Uh, just based upon that one video, I'm all over it because it's a cool, really classy move. Eric, and you and no, I will have to compare video game horde caves. Do you actually and, show uh, Bartomania? Do you actually show you like, I'm just curious because I haven't seen it. Do you show yourself giving this back to this veteran? I mean, that would be like a tearjerker almost. My God. That sounds like something you'd see on television, right? Or no, he TV. can't spoil it. I'm just he's saying about to get, he's about to get 15 more viewers on there. That's, he's right. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. I don't want to know. I tell Marty offline. All right. I want to cry because it feels right. Buy a lot of home movies and slides. And I always ask the family really wants to sell. Yeah, I know. Right. Because that's yeah. cherished memory. photos and like in the photos where it's obviously just family and stuff. Yeah. That's, I think we hinted on this once before, but estate sales every once in a while when I'm in the middle of my frenzy of looking for stuff. Well, like I said, my wife and I will find ourselves always for some reason in the person's bedroom, like sitting on the bed, going through stuff. And you look around and you realize, my God, this was like some lady's bedroom a month ago and she's gone. Like, it's just, I don't know. It, it's a strange, strange feeling every once in a while that I get in estate sales, you know, the mm -hmm. reality that it's just somebody's home and you are kind of ransacking it, you know, it's just, it gives you a chill. So something like that yeah. is beautiful that you could give something back to somebody that it's a great way to end this. Thanks. Man. Yeah. On that happy note, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, I don't know if anybody ever thinks to that. If it's just, I'm the only idiot that's has that guilty conscience out there. I know it's, you can't take it with you and all that, but there's just something very odd about it every once in a while. I, I don't know if I'd call it a guilty conscience, but I do get enjoyment about walking through the home and picking up and trying to piece together this person's life. Oh really? What the they history. did, what they're into, you know. The, you know, I like I like trying to recreate the person's life a little bit. That's a that's a nice way to look at it. On oh, that music! Way. That music is so chilling from that show. It is. Oh, you do think of it. Okay, good. I feel like a better human being now because I thought I was the only one. It's not all the time either. It's just certain moments. Like you'll catch yourself almost in a in a. Like I said, it's usually for some reason we wind up sitting on some lady's bed <laughs> in her bedroom. And you'll see like a pair of slippers yeah. on the floor still. You know what I mean? It's going, just very going through recent. lingerie. Yeah, just, exactly. Oh, I'm like, oh my yeah. God. Some uh, woman used to wear these. Well, didn't we talk about in another video? <laughs> didn't we talk about in another video, Travis, about that, about the bathroom? Somebody, was it Tracy that said she sells like... Like I, I avoid the medicine cabinet. Let's just say. I'm oh, I get. Yeah, Tracy likes the bathroom. Tracy mentioned she's like, I oh, also grab nice soaps. I love perfume buying perfume and soap. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Toothpaste. You know what I mean? Colgate sixty three or something. You know who knows? Uh, breath spray, dry breath mouth spray. spray. Don't buy that. But yeah, you got it, man. I can't wait to watch that. Kind of yeah, Winter Crow. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, make a connection. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, Paul, like I, I, need to, I need to. I like what Paul's doing. I, I recently started picking up more audio and video, like eight millimeter and 16 millimeter stuff and slides. Mm -hmm. You're looking through that. Um, and I'm really excited about getting an eight millimeter player so I can actually watch these things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right, Paul. Are you all going to tease it, Bartomania? I wasn't going to tell him. All right. Ooh, that's, okay. well, that's still, I mean, that's great. Who could, we could still watch. It's still going to be a fun watch just because you know what happened. I may not cry as much now, now that I know that I was spoiled. I'm, yeah, I'm thinking. It's like the, the trailer for Castaway where you saw Tom Hanks all <laughs> on the island. Yeah. And you're like, oh, my God, is he going to get off? And then by the end of the trailer, he's off. 
Yeah, like, yeah. That was, yeah, yes. that was poorly done. Yeah, he's getting off. So there you go. She's that way with the photos, too. Cool, Paul. Paul's got projectors. There you go. Strike a deal. Trade Paul some uh, video games and give him a projector. Or something. Paul, you, <laughs> I don't know. Paul, you want a video game hoard? <laughs> well, Paul's the cameraman. I'm sure he has a whole bunch of Oh, them. yeah. He's probably got, he, he knows how to test them and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we might be coming to you, Paul, with that stuff and slides. And I have tons of slides that I pick up at estate sales, and they're dirt cheap too. But I never really know what's in them. People didn't really label them that well. And my, at least the ones I've um, Hey, I, I got this thing the other day at an estate sale. Didn't know what it was. Um, you turn, you 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 insert the little slide. It's a handheld, mm -hmm. and it's got like a screen, and it's all bright because mm -hmm. you turn it on. You slide the slide in there, and it shows. It magnifies and puts light behind the slide. Oh, that's awesome. So you could um, check them out. You could just choom, 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 choom. Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely watch it. <laughs> oh, he did the same thing. Yeah, that exactly. Good karma, right? Hope it comes back to you. But that's, I know that's not why you're doing it, hoping somebody does the same for you. But it's, that's a beautiful, beautiful story. I'm sure the guy must have been. I can't wait to watch this. Seriously, I'm going to watch it right away. They were all labeled. I have some that have like a general label, Paul. Like it'll say, you know, literally like Christmas 51 to 56 or something. But that's all it says. And like, I don't really Christmas know. Christmas ones are Christmas, Christmas ones are great. They'll sell, yeah. I know anything if you could find an old car in there, a photo of like, you know, from the 40s or something. And it's a, a beautiful color photo of a, of a old car. That's always good. JFK assassination. You kind of know, stuff. it's a Bruder film too. You know, something yeah. like that. From the other oh, wait, angle. they have another angle? Another shooter. Yeah. Another shooter. Or, yeah, old perfumes, Bartomania. Absolutely. Oh, Tracy, Paul, please do a show on that. Tracy, uh, Tracy from 1987 Ventures, who just left a couple of minutes ago, gave us that advice a few shows back because I had joked about the same thing about the estate sales. I feel guilty sometimes. And I'm like, I don't go into their bathroom. She's like, nope, go into the bathroom. Those perfumes, those. I, I told you the exception is I have a ladies Remington shaver, which still isn't sold, but from like the 60s or so that I did put up, but like, I don't usually rummage through, you know, the Alka-Seltzer and stuff like that. Tracy said you should. And Bartomania <laughs> would agree. Does. It's a great way to get medical supplies. You could do a show, Paul. Do you have a channel, Paul? Yeah, do you do? You have the little, uh, doesn't that thing mean he has a channel? He's, he's got an account. Okay. That's all it means. He's got a channel. Yeah. There you go. Yes. We'd love to have you on Paul. And you could showcase your uh, collection. Or give us some tips on how to view the slides or how to date them. Well, dates would be on there. I don't know. Cool camera. All righty. Well, let's see. We have one more from Winter Crow. Uh, that's just life, though, right? Winter Crow, uh, we, all, we all got that. No, that's the way to end the show. That's life, yeah. right? Yeah. We all got to end that way. But life's not a Facebook feed, right? Life's a, an estate sale. Life's an estate After sale. After the fact. It all winds up. You're, I mean, could you imagine? God forbid. God forbid. You're gone tomorrow. So you have an, you have somebody in it your might family. might happen. I mean, <laughs> somebody in your family holds an estate sale in that place. Oh, my God. Look yeah. at all these video games. Oh, my God. They're going to be set. Yeah. Look at these posters. Yay. Oh, my God. We struck gold. <laughs> No, that was beautifully put. So we have the T-shirt from Winnicrow. We have a pant. Look at that. A final statement. Beautifully done. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. I'm sorry I have to cut it a little short tonight. But uh, thank you again, Travis, for a wonderful uh, viewing of your home. <laughs> I really appreciated that. And I hope you feel a lot better. Uh, hopefully, we'll be back on Monday, right? We're yeah, gonna see. I think so. We should be back on Monday. I'll throw that out on YouTube uh, over the weekend. And I hope everybody has a great weekend, a happy, healthy weekend. Sales are up. Everybody eats good food, drinks good beer. Uh, excuse me, has a nice time drinking and uh, has a great time. So have a great weekend, everybody. Good night. Thanks again for coming in. Take care, Travis.